Hello language learners, I'm up in Malton in the north of England in Yorkshire visiting my dad who lives up here and this town has declared itself a food capital, one of the food capitals of Yorkshire which is why there's a bit of a food fair, I think it's monthly going on today. It's a wonderful place. I've just been sitting in a cafe thinking a bit about grammar actually today because um, you know one of the things is often it's said in particularly in sort of the Anglo-Saxon world people are scared of grammar but you know are we really that's not the problem I think most of us are pretty bright we can work everything out if we put our mind to it the problem with grammar is not that it's needlessly complex or somehow intimidating not for us we're a bright bunch the problem with grammar is it doesn't actually really help us very much when we're trying to speak our language the thing is you can't apply rules or tables as you're actually trying to speak there simply isn't time even if you could conjure up in your head um, a table of all the declensions in russian for example or regular strong irregular verbs in german you can't actually apply them on the wing so that's why i always say think not about grammar uh, not because you're scared of it but because it doesn't work think instead about patterns learning patterns into which then you can slot uh, different words to fit different situations. So X is something er than Y in English. So uh, I don't know, Yorkshire is bigger than Lancashire, <laughs> for example, something like that. You can then repeat these patterns on the wing and generate as much speech as you need. Which doesn't mean that reading about rules in language isn't useful. It's like studying a plan perhaps before you go on the journey or studying it again afterwards after you've got home. It helps understand where you're going and appreciate the experience. It makes you more alert to notice things when you're actually out and about. But on the journey, that plan, that preparation is not going to help. Out in the field, I think, you need patterns. That's my approach anyway to learning and teaching the structures of language. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe for the vibe, throw me a thumbs up, batter that bell and share the affair. See you next time.